Ninja Kiwi has just invented the most diabolical map of all time. This is the last resort instead of just resort. So first of all, just kind of like look at it and see what the heck's going on here. You've got snow piles that block a lot of your area here. So even though it looks like you put something here or here, you can't. Um, this area is also blocked off as well, but you can put things on the regular snow over here or on the top of the area up in here as well. And then unfortunately, the main area that we'd really like to use is gone. There's banana farms or frozen banana farms over in this corner over here, so we can't use this spot either. So what can we use? Really just here and here. Interestingly enough, you're also going to notice that we've got balloons that go just straight across, right? Not quite. Instead, the balloons are going to go around, not the small loop, but the medium loop for round six. For round seven, they're going to go around the small loop here. For round eight, they're just going to say, screw you, and we're walking right through. And for round nine, they're going to go all the way around the entire thing. So that means we have four different ways that these balloons are going to be running. And we actually have to pay attention to that for every single round. So luckily enough for us, there is a pattern. We've got medium. We're going to go around the medium section. We're going to go around the fast section. Then we're going to go ultra fast straight through on uh, the next section. And then all the way around for the slow section. So every four rounds is going to be different. Or the, the same, rather. Uh, which is goofy. Very diabolical, if you ask me. So what do we do here? Well, the main rounds that we gotta worry about, of course, is the rounds divisible by 4 in particular. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. And, to be honest, that means that a lot of the weirder Moab rounds are gonna be somewhat difficult. So, round 40, round 60, round 80, and round 100 are all gonna be just whoosh right through there. So, we have to pop a bad balloon by the time they go from here to there, which is absurd. So, that's goofy. Um... Not sure how I feel about that in its entirety, but so far, we are doing okay. I'm going to try to power through this thing and make sure we do something weird like get a very strong dart monkey in the front here to actually do some real poppage here. So I'm thinking like maybe some sort of crossbow into an, maybe even like a juggernaut combo or something in the front here. Kind of like go hard in the darts for us for some reason. It just kind of like feels like it makes sense here. I truly don't know who would be the best hero for this map in particular, but I, I decided to go with Leah. It's just I haven't used her in a while and she's kind of fun to use, so... Uh, I think in addition, I'm going to go for the non-laser shot. I'd like to get those cluster bombs bouncing around quite a bit to actually get my uh, myself flowing in here. Um, in addition, I think we're going to have to, unfortunately, probably go for a sniper combo or something like that, because I don't think this guy's going to be everything we need him to be for the entirety of the game here. So let's swap to these uh, grenade bombs here. And, uh, oh my god, round 22 already, dude? What the heck? Okay, we're going to go for the pin upgrade. I want to keep everything kind of, like, right here. If I can, uh, ooh, and then we're going to move her. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to move her as close as we can, I guess. Put her over there. We're going to move her those cluster bombs. And, uh, as far as camo balloons are concerned, I've got that covered, luckily. I've got my dart monkey in the front there. He's also sniping a lot of the strong balloons. So this is working out okay so far. But I still need to get a good amount of lead pop power. I don't know if uh, Leah is going to be enough here. And unfortunately, round 28 is going to be one of those divisible by four rounds. Which is really uh, making my math skills here have to, to work uh, overdrive right now. Okay, I am going to go big on the front damage, I think, as long as we can survive round 28 here. Let's see if we can do it. It's going to be a little tight with these pinning thingamajigs. Leah sucks. Oh my god. I would have really, 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 really appreciated a spike factory on this map. But they did make it tricky. There's like a lot of weirdness going on with this map, man. All right, let's do something a little goofy. Let's go for a mortar play in the corner here, just because we'll blow things up nice and quick over here with a fast reload. And I can move him around as I see fit for, for later on here. But I just need to get those leads popped a little bit quicker. That's the main thing. So um, there we go. This time around, round 28 is easy, and then 30 should be even easier because now around, this time around we're going to be doing a longer loop this time. As per usual, if you guys want to support me, the easiest way is using my critter support code. It's SJB. Really appreciate that. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, there is a Battle Cat Prestige pack if you want to. Part of Masters of the Universe here, uh, which gets you a lot of cool stuff if you're into it. Specifically, 30 Battle Cats, though. So, I don't know. For eight bucks, is it worth it for you? Let me know. All right, cool beans. We got the sharpshooter now. Um... I'm not sure how I feel about this positioning in particular, because, like, straight lines are usually ideal, and it might be better to put a dart monkey, like, right about Shna to be uh, shooting down straight lines a little bit better, because it's 3D, right? When you think about this dart monkey, he's shooting from up on top, but if we put him right here, in fact, maybe we should just go for a double dose, dude. Maybe if we put him here, it'll help for a couple rounds, 
that uh, wrap around and actually go over here. Yeah, you know, let's do that. Let's go for another one of these crossbows. And this one can also be a quick shot. It's just because I'm a sucker for them. Oh, dang, I didn't realize. Check this out. This thing's actually a blocker. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dang. Okay, so that's not like a huge, huge deal. But if I did build like a, a sniper in the corner or something that you really can't, you have to build them kind of like using up your, your good space, basically. Kind of. Oh, it makes snipers even worse here. But it does make flying and it's even better. Um, heli pellets and stuff can fit. Monkey aces can fit. Dartling guns. Mm, a little trickier to use, but still not horrific. Um, any which way? Oh, not divisible by four, but 38 will be. Definitely going to go for a sharpshooter here, and I think I'm going to go for a slight upgrade on my mortar here. I want to rapid reload. I think I'm going to go for an artillery battery, bro. I'm just kind of like feeling him. Like, good mid-game. We'll keep me going here until I can afford something real big. Maybe even go Crossbow Master. So just as a heads up, if you guys haven't figured it out by now, the update is officially out. So if you want to just go and jump in and play it, you are totally allowed to. Feel free, jump into it. I'm going to be making another video very, very soon, which may even come out first, discussing the uh, patch notes, but they're not currently up as I'm making this video. I was like right on top of it, um, making this one on time here. So uh, yeah, you know. Do, do what you want to do with that that information. So we're going to go for a quick one of these. Um, sharpshooter with a little bit of missile action. And we do, do take down round 40. But that was a little tighter than I would like it to be. Also, I am realizing now. A Leah on this map is actually pretty cool. Because she can fly around right to the front of the map. Right where we need her. Hmm, not a bad idea. Okay, another toughish round. Round 44. Um, luckily, you know, believe it or not. These are like the... Out of all the rounds, they are the easier of the rounds. Do I go double gun here, man? That's kind of like a weird thing. Do I go for the the water deletion? I don't know what happens here. Does it turn to land or does it turn into water? I would assume water. Now, let's just freaking do it. Let's see. Oh, it's a tiny little puddle. That's it. Oh, no. Oh, man. We can fit one water tower here and that's it. All right. I know what I'm going to do. I don't love it. I don't love it whatsoever. We're going to go for something goofy. We're going to be going for that. I didn't mean to buy him. Didn't mean to buy him. Luckily, we're not going for a black chimps medal. This makes things a lot easier to just maneuver around. Ooh, look at this. This is also, a th it makes sense that this is an object, but I just didn't think about that. We're going to be going for a top of path. I'm thinking aircraft carrier, and we're going to go for the combo here of the long range crow's nest. I want that extra pierce once I finally get to this guy, and I want to make sure I can pop DPs for later on as well if I need to. Um, if somehow I can figure out how to make that happen with the things that I need to do to make that happen. Maybe. All right, another round divisible by four. Tougher round here, round 48. We're going to definitely have to use our missiles or something. This aircraft here is like a few hundred dollars away. Uh, yes, we get it. That feels pretty good right now, actually. That could be the answer for a while. Oh, heck yeah, check this out. Dude, we're knocking these things down as soon as they walk in. Even round 49 here shouldn't be a big deal. So don't forget that uh, after the tough round, you get an easier round. So, oddly enough, around 49, 53, 57, 61, 65. I mean, none of those are, like, really difficult rounds, right? 61 is probably one of the more difficult ones out of all of those. Um, so, like, I don't think we're ever going to lose on any any of these rounds besides just the four. I don't see how it could happen unless we really screw something up or I'm just, like, misreading something here. But that does make things a little bit more diabolical from Ninja Kiwi. It's like really a thinking game. It reminds me of the uh, Glacier level where you have 10 rounds before um, uh, uh, your tower freezes every single time. And then they're gone for two rounds. So you have to like plan out which towers are going to be active and inactive at the same time. It's ex very, very similar to that. Um, Any which way, I feel like I've been working things out okay so far. I can't think of anything that I would really, like, want to get for, like, really good long-term gameplay, but I'm thinking maybe a special operations would be cool. Uh, we can move move things around a little bit, even, like, throw a spike vector down in the back of the map or something like that if we need to. Just fly them around. Um, uh, like a weird spike factory. Uh, <laughs> like a, a carpet of spikes kind of spike factory? That would be so fun. But I think first, we got to go for it. Crossmaster is probably one of the most awesome towers in the game for right here. Um, if I could save up for it, though. If this was Black Shim's meddling right now, though, I would I'd feel, like, super-duper afraid. All right, 56 is coming up here again. Is this a tough round? It's just a camo round. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, oh, and we got a BFP coming up soon, so we definitely need to go for that uh, Crossbow Master by that point. Otherwise, we're done-zoed. Absolutely done-zoed. 
Even the longer ones, though. I mean, that would have killed us if it was on an, uh, a divisible by four round. For sure, it would have killed us. Even these small little things give you so much extra time to pop things. It's kind of weird. All right, here we go. Crossbow Master is officially up. This is a very quick shots Crossbow Master, which I have not looked into if they buff, nerfed him, changed him in any way. But uh, they've been messing around with Dart Monks for quite a while now, and it's like kind of a you can actually get a benefit out of the top path now instead of just always going bottom path. Any which way, 60, no problem here. 64 is the next big tough round, except for the fact that 63 is actually a really tough round as well. Oh crap, even with the longer uh, stuff here, Public Crossbow Master is just going to be beefy. Okay, 63 is here. We're going to go for a quick jetpack play. Um, I'm not sure if that was the right plan. Not sure if that was the wrong plan. Wrong plan. Okay, okay. Can the Crossbow Master just, like, delete when they're strong? Maybe I screwed that up. Oh, uh, 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 no. This is not looking good. Can I not aim with the missiles? I, like, I want to, like, specifically target an area. Um... Yeah, I'm just like I'm just screwing things up right now. I'm gonna try some really weird timing here just to see if I can sneak this through because I really don't want to mess around with this too much. Oh, uh, that was terrible timing. But it could be good enough. Oh, it's good enough, and we get an artillery battery up. Uh, can I micro through this puppy, man? Let's see. I don't have the top path upgrades yet, so it's just a base artillery battery, which is really goofy, but it might be strong enough still. All right, here we go. Micro through it. Micro through it. Yes. That one's taken down. We got a bigger blast and a Bloom Buster coming up. I'm gonna micro through this one as well, I think. Take it slow-ish. Just leave it right here in the back. And we are good to go. Boom, boom. Another tough round though, 64. Just gonna artillery battery in the front here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that explosion damage. Tough round done. Okay, I'm not totally sure if this is worth it, but I just feel like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buff this puppy up. I'm gonna stronger stim him. Mm, we'll go perishing potions as well. I'm gonna leave him on strong randomly. And then I'll try to micro through with the artillery battery if I need to. I, I think I kind of want to leave the artillery battery like just right here instead. Seems weird, but I want the crossbow master to be able to reach, right? So one weird thing about this map that I'm noticing is that I really have to space out my defense like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And it's possibly the worst map ever for the attack paragon. So like, don't use the attack paragon on this map. I, I think that's a that's a key uh, aspect to life right here. Don't don't try. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, especially if you're trying to play it on chimps mode right now. We got a tough round coming up in here. 75 and 76. We're gonna try to artillery battery through it. We do. We manage it with terrible micro too. Terrible terrible micro. Um, but again, it's always those fours, man. Round 80 is going to be another one that's going to be kind of tricky, but not as tricky as before. I'll admit I'm having a tough time deciding exactly what I want to get here. I kind of feel like my best play would actually be to go kind of a little bit of a primary thing. So, like, if I could get... Can I fit a village over here? I think I could. Yes, I can. Maybe I should get a, a village, go primary village, and do, do like some sort of a uh, mobile eliminator. That would be a pretty sexy play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, my God. It's so sexy. Ridiculously sexy, Chris. Okay, we're going to go for uh, this guy in range of the village. Got to be in range of the village. We're going to be going for that uh, mobile. He's not as good as he used to be, but he's still pretty solid. And I think the biggest issue for me in this entire game here is probably going to be around freaking 100. Okay. So, and, and DDTs might be a problem, too. Actually, no. That's about, about that as well. Got to don't get too ahead of myself here. But uh, I'm going to go mobile limiter first. Um, I'm going to micro this a little bit. This is another tough round here with some missiles. Use the abilities when you need them. This is going to be one of those rounds that you're like, you got to use the abilities. Everything you got, use them on the rounds divisible by four. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Still, <laughs> this is not going great. Um, <laughs> this is still very scary. Super Ceramic's now coming out against me. And this guy is taking down specifically the big balloons first, which maybe I gotta swap him to popping the first balloons. But for now, Excite. Mobile Eliminator, she's about up. 100 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 17 dollars, 17 bucks. There he is, Mobile Frickin' Eliminator, baby. All right, combo him with, could go either way, but I think I'm gonna go for the range today. And then I am gonna try to upgrade this guy up to uh, uh, at least third tier, maybe fourth tier. See how it goes. Anyways, wait, now we've got a lot of mobile popping power. I'm going to swap this guy to first, and I need to worry about my balloon popping power next. What would be a good balloon popping power tower? 
Well, it doesn't give me that much time, but maybe a glue gunner. Maybe a balloon solver. That would be really cool. Don't know if he's the right choice for me, though, because he probably can't pop DDTs very well. Need a DDT popper as well. A DDT balloon popper. What the heck does that look like? Gotta admit, things are going pretty uh, okay right now. Um, like, like pretty pretty awesomely okay. I mean, check this out. Round 85, I just insta-killed this. Oh my gods, right there. Money's flowing in okay. Uh, it's not a tough round. Not right now, at least. And, uh... I could do a lot of insta-kills here. Can't insta-kill every single one of them, but I do have a lot of abilities to play around with here if I need them. But we got another toughish round coming up soon. 88's gonna be a tough one for us. All right, let's move this guy back a little bit. We're good, we're good. I got some money here, but I was thinking to pop DDDs, I was thinking maybe we go Icicle and Pale. It's a really, really good combo to combine with our primary expertise. Uh, awesomeness going on over here. Uh-oh, 88. Oh, we manage it. Woohoo! Oh no, it's not over yet. Not yet. Let's use those uh, missiles. Blow it all up. Blow it all up. Leah, how's she doing, man? She's got, like, no pops right now, but she's kind of in a weird spot, so maybe it makes sense here. I'm going to throw the artillery battery in the back for a second. I'll use the ability... No, no, no. I'm going to try to keep this bad boy going. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's a lot of blooms there. Um, yeah, definitely not affording the uh, skull pale here for 90. Okay, okay, okay. As you can tell, I'm a little bit nervous right now, because I have no freaking idea what I'm going to do against ETPs. Uh, I could try to use an ability of some sort. Slow it down with that middle path ice tower or something, but I'm just wasting money at that point. Like, I don't want to do it. It's like, it's something I will do, I just don't want to do. Alright, let's just see. If I use a lot of abilities here, how is round 90 going to go down? Is it just going to, like, be perfect? Be magical? Be beautiful? I mean, I do have a little bit of room to play around with here. So, uh, I don't have cam detection on this thing, so I don't think I can hit DDTs with this thing, though. Just kind of sketch. And our better can't hit him either. Oh boy. Okay, that's not good. You know, I gotta give credit. This map's really goofy. Like, normally I'm like, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I, like, I got it planned out. This makes sense. This map, I'm just like, I, I don't know. Every step of the way, I'm like, oh crap, I forgot about this. Oh crap, I forgot about that. Well designed, interestingly difficult ish map. But I think even though it's got nerfed so many times in a row, Spike Storm might still be our answer. It's gotta be the way we pop TTs until we get, until we get the Ice Cold Pale going. Right? Um, the only thing is, I cannot pop round 95, uh, with just a spike storm. It just ain't gonna happen here. So, yeah. About that, I don't know. Spike storm! Oh my god, we- Oh, we did get it in time, technically. Technically, but it didn't even use the, uh, spikes to pop it. Okay. Well. About that. All right, Bloom's getting in the back, back here. Let's artillery batter that bad boy. Kind of wish I put the artillery batter near, like, the top up here so I could uh, use that ability properly. I'm going to way, we will have the Spike Storm ready to go for 93, which is good. Again, we will not have it for 95, though. I will not have the money for Ice Cold Pale, which I still don't know how I'm going to pop these DPs. We have to do something freaking ridiculous here, I think. Uh-oh, this is supposed to be a tough round. We're going to have to artillery battery for sure. Oh, 92 got us too. Oh, crap. More abilities, man. That's what we need to do. Gotta pay attention. Four by four. Work on your math skills, bro. We're gonna go for both limb right the get go. Let's use some of these uh, missiles here in just a second. There we go. Missiles somewhere in the middle there. Mobile limb there again on the. Oh my god! Actually took it down. I think I have used my artillery battery here. Try to pop all these balloons, and then we're gonna try to keep everything else alive. Keep it alive, except for maybe this. Oh, that was not a great play. Loons near the back, near the back, and we take him down. Beautiful. Round 93, though. DDTs again. Gonna have to use this bad boy. Um, let's move eliminate something. Spike Storm. Time that bad boy. Oh, Leah's just chasing around all stupid-like. All right, we took down the DDTs. Okay. Got 12 grand saved up. That's not much money, realistically. Not enough to save up for a nice little of bail here. You might notice that I can technically sell here. I'm not playing legit chips. Well, I am playing chips. But, um... Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Uh, I'm playing in the challenge editor, though, because I did not want to play through hard and impoppable and all the crap to get to this thing. So I guess I didn't do something right and I can sell, but I don't get any money for it. Okay, um... What do we do here? I think we just got a micro better. That's gonna be the plan. So let's leave this guy on... Strong for a second here. Let's go for a mobile limit when we can. 
And then I'm gonna go for an artillery battery here and just micro through it. And I'm gonna hope that I can still pop the balloons in the backpack here with whatever the heck I got back there. Mobile limit again. Use our jet pack. Blow them around. Um, you know what? Let's use this bad boy. Uh, I don't use it all that often, but it could help us out here. Except it might pop all the balloons at once, which could be a bad idea. Mobile limit at least one more. And I'm gonna use my missiles here. Yeah, that's a pretty good missile spot. Taking down a lot of the balloons. Oh my god! Okay, we use our abilities even more frequently this time. Possibly to our detriment. Missile launch near the end here, though. Looks okay. And we manage that with uh, pretty much all of our abilities gone for the start of round 95. And the question is, what do we do with $21,000? Again, $11,000 away from this bad boy. But I can play around with things if I want to. But it's got to be cheapish towers to pop GPTs, and there's just not that many of those in this game. That's the stupid thing here. All right, let's just see how terribly ridiculous is it if we just try to do with what we currently have. Like how, how bad could it be? Maybe just buy this. Yeah, just buy that. that sounds good. Are we going to be able to, like, hook up uh, some DD pop out here? Holy crap, it's the short one, too. Okay, I just want to see how well this is going to work. I'm going to try just a simple little relentless clue here. So we can take down round 95. Uh, I don't have all of my abilities ready, but I could get some of these guys up and ready to go. Hopefully in time. Jetpack. Launch it a little bit early here since it's pretty long-ish. Cooldown thing. Oh, she doesn't have cam protection, does she? Oh, crap. Um, I'm going to go for early spike storm here. I'll go for a fairly early missiles as well while we got them all built up in the front here. That's beautiful, actually. We've got a mobile limb whenever we can. Artillery battery still ready to go when we need it. Uh, I'm going for it. Artillery. Oh, it doesn't have cam detection. It doesn't even matter. Uh, okay, I got it. We're going to decamo with a stupid unpopped army in the front of the map. Okay. Just going to have to be how it's going to be. And then we're going to also use that relentless glue, and I think we got it. Okay, I think, I think, I think we're good here. Um, this should decamo things, allow my my uh, artillery battery to actually do some real work here. Okay. Round 95. Can we manage? We go for some early missiles here for sure. Build them up. Build them up. Maybe we can use a, an ability twice if we want to. Alright. Go for that thing as well. We're going to try to use this extra ability on top of it. 96 is going to be a very, very difficult round as well though if I have no abilities ready to go though. That's a thing. Okay. Late-ish spike storm here. Artillery battery in the back now. Balloon should be decamoed. I'm gonna try to save my artillery battery, and we do! We manage! We save a couple abilities here, but this is round 96. This is a very beefy round. Not as beefy as round 98, but because it's gonna be shorter, it might be more difficult than even round 98 here, which is kind of absurd. Here, oh crap. Artillery battery. We're trying to work our way against the grain here. Another mow of a limb. Artillery battery is doing great right now, though. Freaking beautiful. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. A lot of balloons in the back. Oh, a lot of blues in the back. But with that ice glue combo, we keep them in play. All right, we're going to jetpack. I'm going to mow a limb once these oh my god start to get hurt a little bit. I want to try to insta-kill them. Um, let's try to insta-kill one just like that. Beautiful. We got missiles once they get a little lower. So very bad. Are we going to micro this bad boy? I'm also going to use my spike storm just because. It's a lot of balloons we still got to take down here. It's going pretty good, though. 96 is done. Okay, again, normally not the most difficult round in the game, but in that situation, it made sense. It was going to be tricky. Okay, we might be able to just mow a limb these guys down to nothing. Maybe. I'll use my artillery battery as well, though. Um, yeah, it looks okay. I didn't even have great micro. Uh, we'll try to use no more abilities. Just, like, let it fly. Try to just micro just a tiny bit here. Yeah, glue eyes combo is freaking beautiful these days. All right, here we go, 98. Again, normally one of the toughest rounds of the game, we're going to go for a quick thing of a jigger. Um, just going to blow some crap up here. I'm going to use almost all of my abilities here to try to get them back for round 99, though. Oh, boy, we got a lot of blue still. Oh, boy, that's still a lot of freaking blue. Maybe I popped too many. Oh, my God, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. I tried to use... This thing on the strong balloons, when I probably should have used it on the non-strong balloons. Because now I'm popping freaking Zone My Gods right now, which is not what I want to do. Um, but I kind of have to, actually. It's kind of the sad thing here. 
Oh no. I got money. I got money. I think it's safe to say we lost. Uh, I'm kind of mad about this. I really can't beat Route 98, even with all of this stuff here. I'm like 5,000 miles away from a super glue. Um, uh, 10,000 miles away from a uh, ice gold pail. A few thousand miles away from a carrier flagship. And I don't know what else I could have done uh, with my current strategy. I mean, I, I like I'm not even close. That's the worst part about it. I've tried freaking everything. I swear, super maelstroms, unstable concoctions, combos of different things here, even getting a balloon sabo. I, I haven't tried an ice tower combo. Maybe I could do like a snowstorm or something. Snowstorm sabo combo, maybe. I'll give it one more try. I think that's probably it, dude. Look at all these blues. Like, look at them all. There's just freaking ridiculous amounts. So they go for a slightly alternate, hopefully a better strategy, where we go for a Bez, baby! Woo! We got around 82 Bez this time around, and things are going, oh my god, so much better. So, uh, it turns out that the bottom path dartling gun with a blue impact combo ends up being pretty awesome. Leah, I'm not really sure if she was, like, the right tower for this, but she was okay. She, like, worked alright, but I was really wanted to combine her with a, a heli pilot or a monkey ace or something on the top here, but I, I just couldn't get it going. Now, of course, the Bez does have one single big weakness. It doesn't have automatic DP pop power, which was a thing that we had problems with earlier, so we're going to have to deal with that. Luckily, we got more than enough money to make that happen with a mid. So there it is. We're going to move him to target independent at this point, and I think we'll be flying here. Maybe not an automatic win, but pretty close. Okay, first set of DPTs here on round 90. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's nice to see. Oh my god, what was I doing playing around with all this garbage stuff? All you gotta do is just get better. Get a Bez. Okay, we got round 92 here. This is gonna be the tougher round of the set here. Uh, a little bit of Billy action, and oh my god, it's delish. Uh, we've got $25,000 to go before we can afford a... Ooh, 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 ooh. DDT's a little bit more problematic this time. Not an auto win this time. Oh, man. I was really hoping that maybe I could go for a Permaprobe, though. That would just be, like, so cool. So cool. Permaprobez on this map. Oh, I want it. But can I make it happen? Another 20 grand here. Round 95. Normally a fairly difficult round. A little bit of... Ability action here. Oh, um, maybe a little bit more of an ability action. Leah in the back with the wrench, and we make it happen. Oh my god, 10k more, and we can get it on round 96. That's a it's a pretty beefy money round here. Um, unbelievable. I I, I don't even know if it's the right thing to get. I just kind of want to get it. It might screw us over for the bad balloon. I won't even care. If I fail by the end of this video, I don't even care if I can get a perma brute bez. It's just too cool to pass up. All right, uh, three grand to go, two grand to go. We're still chasing here. It's a tough round, though, and oof. All right, so we're going to fix this real quick. Like, we're going to go for a weird thing. We're going to go for... We're going to put her on strong. We're going to make sure we throw this thing on us. Oh, my God. We're going to throw some uh, this action on it, and that's it. I'm going to just uh, target independently. Well, tar target... Chris... Chris... Dependently. Um, going a lot better this time around. Oh, the chase, 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 and we are so close. <laughs> what do we need? Oh my god, we need another couple hundred bucks. It's gonna be on round 98 in May. If we can survive this round, though, oh, don't tell me. 
No! We can't do it! Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got time. We got time. We got time. Never mind. Screw it. We got it. Easy as cake. Not quite as cake-licious as you'd want it to be. And we can reach all the way in the bottom here, which is not normally a thing you really care about. But today, actually gonna matter. All right, reinforce oh my god. Coming around this time. Not gonna use any of my billies. We're just gonna take it down. Uh, if we can. And real sketch here. Real sketch here. Dang. Okay, with much, much, much better micro, this should go oh so much better. And there it is. Take it down. Easy. And permabrew is officially... Whoop. There it is on round 98, too. Which it gives me just enough time here to get this guy flowing. Again, could be the wrong choice. Could be a bad problem. Alright, this time around, this is where we kept losing, 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 losing. Is it going to be a thing still? Oh, we're still kind of chasing here. Um... I am reaching my max Bez bobbing power, which is absurd. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did they, like, make round 98 even beefier than before? Holy crap. All right, I, I am, I am um, microing on my own here. So I could try target independent, but I usually think that I micro better than the game would allow, I think. Um, I could try to keep the Zoma Gods alive. That is a strategy, by the way, to try to not pop the Zoma Gods specifically, but it's very, very difficult to do that. Okay. Uh, decent micro from us. Yes, keep the Zoma Gods alive. Oh, it's working. It's working. Okay. I gotta pop them eventually, though. But pop all the BFBs first, if possible. Okay, we got a couple Zoma Gods start slowly, slowly starting to come in here. And we take down round 98 with... That perma brood Bez. We got 10 grand to play around with here, but I honestly don't know what the best way to pop a bad layer is. Ooh, DDTs though. Um, perma brood Bez barely, barely able to do this thing. It's gonna happen, but it's gonna be a close one. All right, again, a aiming the best of my ability. Uh, you gotta chase. You just gotta chase here. And near the end here, we do take it down. All right, round 100. Perma brood Bez. He's got 1.5 million of my pops right now. Though, Leah's probably got a uh, majority of the rest. Yeah, 308k. Okay. So let's get some extra damage out of this thing. Probably can only use it once. Well, how's the Bez doing? Mmm. Not very good. All things considered here. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Haha, <laughs> no. No, don't tell me. I can't even pop the bat. I can't even pop the bad lair barely. Barely. Barely, barely, barely. All right, I spent my money this time around. We got two Moab Assassins. I'm going to see if that's going to be enough here. We did get a good uh, Leah ability off of this thing. And it's going to be more about pop than DDT. I think it's going to be more about pop than Zoma Gods than the DDTs themselves. I don't think the DDTs are going to be all that bad. This is going to be the problem here. Two Zoma Gods. Just like this. There's no way. There's too many balloons. Oh my god, I hate my life. Okay, we're going to swap the strategy. We're going to do a call to arms play instead. Though, I think I have to use it early enough to maybe get it back for around 99 again. But it looks like we might not get enough pierce again. Holy crap. <sighs> Holy mega crap. Okay, we're just going to go for the Zoma Gods this time. I'm just going to try to pop them. Um, and I got a random glue gunner in addition. That's what we're going to do. And it's going very, very well. I actually want to keep the balloons alive now. I don't want to pop them. I want to try to get my abilities back, I think. So, I want to keep try to keep a BFB alive if I can, or just not pop them very quickly, if possible. Don't know if that's possible. Don't know if that's possible. Nope, popped all the BFBs already. Alright, well, we gotta hope that uh, round 99 still is gonna go down here. Oh, cannon, keep them alive. Go ahead, keep them alive. Get my abilities back. <laughs> it's almost cheating! Oh, look at that! We get the abilities up in time! I don't know if we're going to need them, but it's nice to know that we have them there. I'd like to save them for round 100, though, if possible. Alright, DDTs this time. Uh, without the perma brew though, going to be too much. So we're going to need that call to arms. I'm really glad we're able to micro through that thing. So here we go, call to arms this time. Uh, easily enough. Not easily. Not easily. But it is enough to take down round 99. I do not have the ability ready to go right at the very beginning here of round 100, though. But I probably will get it in time. Oh my god, look at this cannon. Beautiful! Keep it going, bro. Keep it alive for as long as possible. 
All right, there we go. We got a first strike. Boom. Just like that, I got 22 grand to work with as well if I need it. I'm going to go over a quick ability here. Go, Leah. Go. I'm going to get my call to arms here at the last second, hopefully. Blow it up. Call to arms. Perfect timing. This is when we need it. DDTs are done. Oh, my gods. Can we do it? Oh, there's going to be a lot of balloons here. Still a lot of balloons. Oh, we're shooting them backwards, though. And we make it happen. Kind of cheating, like, and whatnot. But we did it. We were successful. Map is ridiculous, though, dude.